work is in film theory, where we ask fundamental, rather philosophical questions about the nature of the medium. She's still really happy to be in her father's home, to be a daughter, right? Not to be a mature woman. I'm teaching two courses this semester. Uh, one is an online course that looks at how Hollywood films of the 1950s grapple with and struggle with the economic, social, political, technological, uh, gender role, racial revolutions that were going on in the 50s in this country in ways that really shed light on aspects of contemporary culture that we now take for granted. The other course that I'm teaching is called The Art of the Short Film. And the premise of that course is that short films are a unique art form separate from feature films and really deserve to be studied in their own right. We're looking at a short film called Forever is Going to Start Tonight. We're looking at the structure of that film to try to understand what is unique about short films. It helps to understand the structure of this film by seeing it as a triangle. One of the larger points for us in, in, as makers of short films and as writers of short screenplays, that it's very hard to juggle more than three characters or three positions. The learning of the facts and the learning of the, you know, the mastering of um, the basic level of material, they do on their own. What they can't do on their own and what we, I have to offer them is the practice in refining, thinking, debating, confronting opposition, confronting um, challenges, thinking through the difficult uh, aspects of the material and um, coming up with more subtle and more nuanced understandings of the material. And that's a, the, really the practice that can only happen in the classroom. He hasn't connected to it where he is in a while, so I don't know if he's being cruel to the daughter by doing it on purpose, by like trying to be indifferent to her. I think it's more like it's just, he's just, nothing's connecting really, mm -hmm. it's not a choice. To challenge and to think through the validity of any truth claim that they encounter, no matter how authoritative the source is supposed to be. I really want them to be confident in themselves as critical thinkers. Being in a classroom is an event. You have to be there and you have to live through it. And what, you're, and what you get in that interaction and that immediacy and that time-based experience is priceless. And to me is utterly engaging and utterly energizing. Mm -hmm.